Big headline here, like Joe, people love their salty snacks. Remember, Pepsi toes. also owns Frito Lay, the toes. The toes. Doing quite Take nicely. So, you mentioned the top and bottom line beats. The other highlight of the quarter, I would point out, is organic revenue growth. It's key for this industry. It's up 4.5%. It's the third quarter in a row where Pepsi's really turned up the growth notch since their newish CEO, Ramon LaGuarta, has taken the helm. How are they doing it? Well, they're reinvesting. They're spending a ton right now on marketing, on streamlining manufacturing, on salespeople on the ground, and that is leading to lower earnings but higher sales growth. The other highlights I would call out from the quarter, just to give you a snapshot of what we consumers are doing right now, smaller packages. So pricing was the growth here, and it wasn't that PepsiCo was raising prices on consumers, it's that people who go out to grocery stores are increasingly buying the smaller packages or at least the you know 10 packs or 12 packs of those smaller snacks and as a result Pepsi gets a little more price out of the consumer than a big bag of chips or Frito Lay's. Mm -hmm. The other thing I would mention here and by the way that goes for mini cans as well with Pepsi doing very very well. Also Quaker Foods, they own Quaker Oats return to growth, actually having its best quarter in years. Not so much the oatmeal, but some of the other brands under that umbrella, like Aunt Jemima. Turns out if you spend a lot to market, you can get those, growth, those brands back to growth. And then the other shout out I'd give is Bubbly. This is their new sparkling water. It just launched, guys, early 2018. It's really exploded in growth. And I think the only thing you need to do is look at a chart of national beverage, which makes LaCroix, which is basically straight down to show how the big boys, the Pepsis and the Coke, and especially Pepsi with this bubbly and the new flavors, is taking a ton of market share. I asked Hugh Johnston how the economy is doing. They always have a good handle on spending. Internationally, he said, all looking pretty strong. Saudi Arabia was a little soft, but all their key markets, Russia, UK, looking good. And I asked about the US, and his word, solid. I said, any signs of recession? He said, not in these results. We'll talk to Hugh Johnston on Squawk on the Street, 9 a.m. hour. Uh, Vice Chairman, CFO. We're also going to talk to the CEO of General Mills because it's interesting. This Pepsi number was a real standout, not just in consumer staples, but in the overall food space. Food has not been growing. Big companies haven't been adapting. Pepsi has really been an all-star. And Mike, you mentioned the outperformance. It's yeah. up 20% this year. What yeah. you, you saw the Branson interview. What will you call the space space? Will you say space space or will you come up with a new word for sec? Like, it, you know how you said the, the beverage space, will you call it a sector or? What about the space space? You can't say the space space. See how that's space a problem? Space frontier? Well, I, I just don't like the word. Let me ask you something. Space You're industry? an expert on, on, on all the things with these, 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 like Coke and Pepsi. Yeah. Is the future about just getting better at execution and shelf space and all that, and, and or is it innovation with with new things as as tastes change? And and I'm wondering, smaller bags of unhealthy food or bigger bags of stuff I don't really want to eat because it's made out of of things that are good for me. I mean, I I think it's everything in moderation, right? You can still eat moderation, the Moderation for yeah. sure. I mean, people still want. They're Pepsi, and they want it flavored And they now want their Doritos, that, which their are... Doritos. So smaller packages are better. So it's a combination, I think, you hit it, of innovation, which drives pricing and drives consumers to buy more, right? And also e-commerce and digital. And Hugh Johnson was huge on this. They're building this big office in Manhattan, hiring a lot of young talent to try to drive more personalized marketing and better e-commerce relationships with Kroger's and with Walmart. You've tried everything, haven't you? What... Do I need to There's these new flaming hot uh, white cheddar popcorn, the smart food that Pepsi smart makes. You know, they send a batch of their new innovations. I know, and I, was one, I, and I try them all, and I try them all, and none of them, Good. But none of them, the healthy ones are, are, it's like, you know, eating packaging material half the time. Well, They're so like, just get the smaller bag. Just get us a 100 calorie pack of, you know, whatever okay. toes you want.